Okay. Yeah, you can start. Okay. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Um. So, uh, this is uh chapter nine of the Python for Data Analysis book, and uh, we'll be looking at uh, uh plotting and visualization. Um, this chapter is quite interesting. Um. Uh, before going forward, just feel free to uh come in and and if you have any comments or questions, or even if I don't explain anything much clear, you could just give it, give your comments to make it much more clear. Yeah. So that's it. This is a uh, plotting and 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 visualization. So the the, the main motivation for 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 this chapter uh is like visualizations or plots. Is, uh, an important uh, part in uh, data analysis because it helps us to explore our data and have uh, basically to it helps us understand the data more and helps us identify outliers and it also helps us in the transformation of the data and some data wrangling stuff and it 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 could, could it's also quite useful in giving us an idea on the 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 most appropriate model to use for or analysis. Um, so he uh, mentioned that uh, some other guys will also be interested in building interactive uh, 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 web visualizations, which uh, some kind of um, interesting visualizations. So uh, he, he stressed the, fa the, the fact that MATLAB has many other add-on um, visualization tools, uh, but uh, or libraries, but in this, uh, the focus is mainly on Matplotlib, uh, which is uh, inspired by uh, Matlab, um, which is uh, of course not free. So John Hunter in two thousand and two uh, uh, started this project where he wanted to create Matlab-like projects in Python, this and. Uh, the smart plot clips have support uh, almost all uh, uh, GUIs, um, and it, it, it works uh, in, in all these formats. It, it works in PDF, uh, SVGs, and, and, and pictures, and, and so on and so forth. So over time, the, the MATLAB uh, uh, library has spawned a number of add-on tools for visualization. Uh, a common one is the, the CBON. Which is uh, built on on MATLAB, more yeah, some kind of a more high level. I think we will discuss that in the second half of this chapter. Uh, and so he is telling us the simplest way to start implementing this is to run this uh, uh, this command, uh, and yeah, like this. To so this uh, setup uh, for uh, to set up the output in Jupyter Notebook, which which will make make that the subsequent subsequent codes that will be running will work fine without uh, any 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 issues so these are also some other uh, visualization libraries but uh, uh, the the author decides to focus on on math uh, which which will be a very good foundation if one has this foundation you could uh, Check uh, this other uh, visualization uh, or plotting libraries. Yeah, and uh, that's it. This is the first part. Uh, a brief uh, uh, overview of the uh, Matplotlib API uh, primer. So we have to import uh, this. Uh, this uh, we import uh, we import the Matplotlib uh, that pi plot as plt. We also employ uh, import NumPy and, and, and also Seaborn, which we will use in the second part of the, uh, the, the chapter. Mm. So it just gives an exa example, uh, uh, a simple uh, a, a simple line, line, line graph or line plot. We could uh, generate uh, random numbers using the NumPy dot arrange from numbers from zero to 10. And then if we call the plot method, it gives us, so the default of the plot method is a line plot, is a, is a line graph, that's the default. So this, uh, we customize this plot 
uh, and the, the chapter as, as we proceed will show us how we can customize this plot to make it much more uh, um, pressed in and to make it do what we, what we want, want it to do. So the, 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 the matplotlib uh, gallery and documentation are the best uh, resources for learning advanced features, which is, uh, of course, the case with this, uh, this libraries. So we start looking at figures and, uh, and subplots. So uh, a figure, a plots uh, in matplotlib reside within a figure object. Uh, you can create, so, so we can think of a figure as like the canvas, or it's the canvas, or let's say, or, or it's the canvas, so where we, we have uh, various uh, uh, plots in that uh, canvas. So it's generally the, the, the open space where we have to add any type of uh, object or any type of image or, or, or graphs we want to, to add in. So we can create a, a empty object by just calling the, the dot figure uh, method. And once we do that, we will get the we'll get uh, the figure. So it also has a number of options like the, the figure size we could uh, we could uh, set the figure size, and it also has like we can add subplots. So like um, so we could think of subplots as uh, just adding uh, other uh, like access to to the to the to the to the to the the figure we have we have already created. So we can add uh, sub figures like this, and uh, this will be a like a uh, this main figure is a two by two. Um, and uh, so this is the, this this one indicates is the first figure, and then this is the second, and then the third one. So it's pretty much straightforward to to like add this uh, uh, add these figures. So we could make some uh, visualizations to the 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 third axis or the third uh, plot we have added to uh, the the. the the, the 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 figure we have created, we could uh, we could call the plot method and uh, just do some uh, random uh, generations, and then we add other features. We add the color, we make it black, and then the style we make it dash. So uh, uh, basically, we have many 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 methods or many other or yeah top ups we can do to to our plot. So so he's like you notice the output will be something like this uh, when you run this a matplotlib uh, runs objects that reference the plot uh, subsequent components so so basically if you ref uh, reference a particular uh, uh, plot it just runs the the, the subsequent uh, uh, components or, or you just reference them So the object that is returned, it's a uh, the the additional options in matplotlib to plot a black uh, dash line. Oh, that's uh, that's 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 this uh, option. Yeah. So uh, there are axis subplots, or like, uh, let's say um, we could think of it as uh, yeah, sub basically sub 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 uh, plots in a in the in the in the in the, in the object the plot object we have created. So uh, this is a, uh, is, a, is, a, is a good example. We we have on the first axis, we, we plot, we call the hist, like the histogram method. And then uh, we specify the beans, we specify the color to uh, black. And that's the, the first axis, which is basically uh, the first plot. And then on the second plot, we call the, the scatter. The scatter plot method, and then the third plot has already been been done here, which is just calling the plot. But the line style instead of because the default line style will just be a normal line, and we should just change that style to a dash line. So he's uh, showing us that we could call a lot of these methods. We could call the hist histogram method. We could call the scatter plot method, and so the 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 alpha equals to three here. 
the set path. It's just like uh, the like how much the opacity of the figure that we we we, we created. So uh, if we go to the MATLAB documentation for sure, we'll see all these methods in details. So we can call the uh, uh, PLP dot subplots uh, method. In which case, we we have all these are subplots. So this is the subplot uh, for axis uh, zero and one, which is at the, the 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 first row, second column. So these are all subplots. So we can also indicate whether we want the subplots to have the same axis or, or not. We could indicate all that. And and so these are some of the methods or options we have for the the, the PLT subplots. So uh, again, the subplots are just some like when we have when we create the plot uh, object like the empty plot object. This the subplot is just filling that. Uh, object or that figure we have created, that empty figure we have created. So we can just fill it with uh, empty plot. Yeah. And these are the various methods we could uh, we could we could call or uh, to augment uh, the plot we have created. Yeah. In case you have some, if you want to uh, make some comments or anything like that, feel free. No, not yet. So I just, it's, a uh, okay. yeah, it's a step forward, so yeah, you can keep going because it's a very similar about the ggplot2 in R, so yeah. Yeah, so we can so, also uh, adjust the spacing around the around the plots. Um, we could, uh, by by default, uh, the mark leaves a certain amount of uh, 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 spacing around the, the the outside, let's say the, 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 the perimeter of the, of the plot. And, and and also between subplots, it has a default spacing. But we could also change this. Uh, uh, we could change it by using the subplot adjust method on the figure object we have created. Let's say if we call the subplot uh, adjust. We could uh, decide to to adjust the left, the bottom, the right. We could decide to adjust this as we 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 prefer. Yeah, we could also call the 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 width space and the the height space control which are the, the methods which control the percent of the figure width and the the figure height respectively so here is a, a, an an illustration where we like sort of write a form that uh, adjusts the spacing for the 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 axis figure the axis figure and uh, it uh, it Two plots. It's adjust the the spacing by. Uh, basically the, um, it doesn't it doesn't adjust. So it's just saying us. We can just change this, uh, double space and the space page as we want. But it just sets them to the default. Uh, then we look at colors, markers, and uh, line styles. So we could also specify. We could uh, we could call the, for the plot uh, uh, method. We could uh, we could uh, decide the line style whether we want it to be dash dotted um, as we wish. The color also we could decide the color, or we could uh, get the hex hex code. Uh, getting this hex code, uh, you know, this one I think it's through Google because you might not be able to memorize the the color. So uh, we can really Google the hex code for the the various uh, colors that they want. The, this is also a way to customize your your color. You can see some some support here. So when we just type uh, um, uh, plot uh, with uh, see some of the support uh, methods. Uh, Yeah, uh, yeah, so basically we can do that and see the, the, the plots.
So line plots, uh, on, on line plots, we could also additionally add markers to highlight the actual data points. Like here, we could do this by adding the, 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 the we can set the marker to uh, equals to O, which will um, um, highlight the data points. Because basically this line, the, the dots, the line style dash is just connecting the, the data points. We could uh, add markers to this. So we can also notice that for line plots, the su subsequent uh, points are linearly interpolated by default. So we could change this default setting by using calling the, the draw style uh, method. Uh, we could do that. And here is an example. If we call the draw style method and, and, and assign it to steps post, it, uh, it, uh, it does not do a linear inter uh, interpolation, but it basically uh, gives a step post, which is some kind of like calculating the tangent at each uh, uh, between the between the points, uh, something like this. Or also in this case, we must uh, set uh, the, the 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 figure dot legend to create the the legend, whether or not we, you pass the label. So this uh, uh, has to be uh, like we have to call that method to create the, the legend. So we look at ticks, uh, labels, and, and legends. So uh, most kinds of plots, uh, decryptions can be accessed through methods on uh, matplotlib access objects. So this uh, uh, includes the, the x limit, the, the x ticks, uh, the X tick labels. So this X, anything that we are able to do with the X, uh, we, we, to do it with the Y, we just uh, change the X from, we change from X to Y, and it does that on the Y, on the Y axis. So this, this ticks uh, control the, the, the plot range, the tick locations, the tick uh, labels respectively. So we can, uh, uh, so if, so if we call the, uh, the X limit without uh, any argument, it returns the current uh, uh, parameter or the, the current parameter or the, the, the current uh, range of the, the, the X axis. But we could uh, change the, the, the parameters or the range by giving it uh, some range like here. If we call the dot X limb and we give it this, uh, uh, this range, then it will uh, return that that uh, the, the the plot for that uh, for that for the x axis. Uh, similarly, we could do the same thing for the y axis by just calling the dot uh, y limit and giving it the, the the range we are interested in. So we could also set the title, the axis labels, the ticks, and the so to 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 do that. Uh, here is a, an example of a random walk. So if we want to set the title, or uh, we just call the if we want to set the labels, we we uh, we call the 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 set uh, x tick labels, and then that will uh, transform uh, and gives us the label for our plot. And if you want to call the 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 title, we could call the uh, the dot set a title, and uh, also we could call the dot set x label to give us the, the 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 label for the x. So we have that. That's the when we call the dot uh, set x labels, it gives us the x label, and when we call the set uh, title, it gives us the, the title of the of the plot or like say of the subplot. So we could uh, modify in the Y axis consists of the same process by, by just substituting Y for X in this uh, uh, examples. So we could uh, do it more robustly uh, using some, uh, yeah. Yeah, we could do this and uh, just call the, the, the dot set and then uh, have the title and also the X level, which is uh, much more straightforward. 
Uh, now it looks at how to add legends. We could add uh, legends, which is the easiest. The easiest is to just pass the level argument when uh, uh, adding each piece to the plot. Yeah, we could just uh, add the level argument as, as it's done here. So these are the, the, the various subplots and we could uh, label them as uh, like one, two, and, and, and three. So once we are we are we have done this, you can call the 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 subplot dot legend or the 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 the, uh, the data frame uh, or the sorry the figure dot uh, legend to automatically create a, a legend. So that's uh, the ax dot legend which creates a legend up here, and and these are the the the, the various uh, plots we call the the, the, the plot method. Uh, Sorry, by the plot. So the the the, the lock uh, legend gives us the uh, tells uh, matplotlib where to place the the plot. Uh, basically, it it's basically helps us to um, see the plot, uh, the the location of the of the of our plot of interest. The default is best, so which is uh, uh, it's advised to just maintain the default uh, lock. Uh, uh, yeah, so just to assign it to the to to the to the to the to to the default. So to exclude one or more elements from the the legend, uh, we can pass no level or or we could just say level is equals to uh no 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 legend. We could do that as well. We could do some uh annotations and drawings on 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 a subplot. Uh, we could do this uh. Um, in addition to the standard plot types, we may wish to uh, draw our, our own uh, plot annotations, which could consist of text, arrows, or other types. So which we can do using the, the, the text method, the dot text method, or like the arrow and annotate functions. So text will draw or uh, will draw a text at a given uh, coordinates. Uh, like example, if we we have x, the x y, and then it would write the 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 hello wall, and that's the the font font size. So these are an example. So we recommend running this in uh, um, in in Jupyter notebook and see how the example works. So basically, that is the an example uh, of the the closing of the S and P five hundred index. Uh, since 2007, uh, and, and annotate it with some of the important dates from 2008 2009 financial crisis. So, this were the, 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 the key points we are interested in the date time. The, so, we created uh, the crisis data, which uh, has a date time 2007, 2008, and 2009. So, 2007 is the peak of the bull market. And, and and 2008 was the vs James fall and uh, the Lehman Brothers uh, bankruptcy in 2008 as well. So uh, we call the the label method trying to do some uh, uh, annotation, trying to annotate. We uh, um, as as of it uh, the x uh, x y and the text. Um, and then we also add an arrow. So of course we have the, the label, the, the text, and also we call the arrow annotate. Yeah, so basically this is what uh, the output will look like. And that is the text and that's the, the arrow. And that is how it uh, annotates the, 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 initial, the initial plot, which is uh, quite uh, interesting. And it makes it easier to just look at the plot and know what it is, uh, it's uh, all about uh, in a very quick. Uh, so there are a couple of important points to highlight uh, in, in this plot. The 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 the, the x dot annotate method can draw at the yeah so can at the indicated uh, uh, x y uh, x y coordinates. So we 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 set the the x limits and also set the y limit. Uh, which is uh, done. We, we we did this manually. 
uh, we also set uh, the, the title. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, basically uh, talking about a lot of methods. So he's also talking about uh, drawing shapes requires some more care. The smartplotlib has uh, objects that represent many common shapes referred to as uh, uh, as patches, and these uh, shapes you 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 have uh, uh, you have uh, uh, yeah sorry I switch to the 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 main text. Yeah, here he's talking about being. Uh, uh, careful about uh, the shapes because uh, uh, matplotlib has uh, different types uh, uh, of objects that represent common shapes like that. That are referred to as patches. You have rectangle, circle. Uh, you have the polygons uh, and all that. So, so, um, so the whole thing is located at. Uh, 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 Matplotlib uh, dot patches and there it's uh, all the so to add uh, a shape we can just call the 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 dot add patch uh, method and then it will add a shape so uh, basically here uh, we created a, a figure which is the the sort of the the empty uh, object the empty figure object uh, think of we can of that as uh, some kind of a uh, our workspace where we want to do all sort of designing. So that's the, the figure. And then inside that figure, we create this. Uh, uh, we, we call the dot subplots to create. This allows us to be able to create various subplots in this uh, figure that we have created. And these are the figures, the, the subplots. The first one is a rectangle with these parameters with uh, color of uh, black and uh, an alpha, which is the opacity of 0 0.3. And then the second uh, subplot is a uh, PLT dot circle. We call the circle method. Uh, we call the circle uh, uh, shape. And then the, the third uh, object is a polygon. So when we when we uh, call the dot add patches, it, add, it adds a patch or it adds this shape to the the, the the it adds it to our figure, the figure that we have created. So it, it adds this figures. So he's like, if you look at the implementation of many familiar plot types, they are sort of uh, you will notice that they are assembled from 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 patches. So we can save our files by just calling the uh, the dot save fit, which is uh, quite uh, straightforward. And then the we call we we assign the part where we want to save the figure, and then the dot type. So the dot uh, SVG will save this figure as a uh, SVG file. So when we say dot PDF, it will change it will save it as a uh, as a PDF and and so on and so forth. So one important option that uh, uh, that uh, and that uh, that he usually that I use frequently to publish graphics is the uh, DPI, which uh, controls the dot per inch uh, solution to get the resolution as it. So basically, I, I this is uh, quite useful if someone uh, wants to sort of uh, 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 create pl plots that might be useful for for public publications and or sort of publishing. Uh, uh, high quality graphics and, and stuff like that. The, uh, the, the, the uh, uh, methods out your figure, the various methods that you could apply to the figure, uh, the F name, uh, which is a string containing the file or uh, a file like object. The figure format is in fact from the, the file extension. Yeah, figure format. So if we say dot PDF to a PDF dot PNG, uh, the, the DPI the figure uh, resolution in
the default uh, is 100 in, in IPath, Python of, or, or 72 in, uh, in Jupyter. We could uh, type whether we PNG, uh, PDF, uh, and, and so on. So configure our, our plots. Um, my, uh, so so matplotlib comes with uh, figures and colors all configured for you. So if you just keep, you're still fine because uh, it tries to optimize and give you the, the most appropriate color, the most appropriate uh, size, the most appropriate and, and, and all that for your, for, 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 for your figures, which are quite good uh, and standard for publication. But fortunately, nearly all the default behavior can be customized via global parameters governing the figure uh, size, uh, the subplot facing, color, font size, style, and uh, like, yeah, and, and so call the RC method to do some modifications. Uh, if we uh, have uh, the, the figure, particular, if we call the RC method figure, and then assign the figure size to the to, to the size we want. We could fill in the parameter, the, the, the size we want. So the the the, the arguments in the uh, uh, the RC uh, function uh, axis, which is the plot, the the, uh, the 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 particular sub plot we are interested in, the the x ticks, the y ticks, the grid, and the legend, and many other 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 functions. in your as a dictionary so when we uh, call that pc dot rc then we, we 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 have the font the family the the bit, and the and about how to, uh, this uh, um, um, rc to the to to be to to the the matplotlib directory uh, so we can access it uh, anytime we, we need it. Yeah, this uh, is the second part. Uh, I'm reading the uh, computer edit. So I, I don't know, maybe this could be a good stuff in place. That part uh, of the of the sector next week. Well, what do you think? Do you want to wrap you up right now? So you want to do the last, last, yeah. the next week? The rest, uh, next, yeah. next week? Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, it's up to you. But today, yeah. is, uh, it, it seems like uh, your internet is not that mm -hmm. good because uh, your voice is uh, very, like, uh, breaking, you know? Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you should, you should have, you should have, uh, uh, let me know. Yeah, cause uh, your I think that your internet connection is uh, 